and welcome back to a new video. I had a wonderful New Year's Eve and New Year's Day but I didn't get any studying done and I'm kind of behind on my schedule as I said in my previous video. So I thought it would be a great idea to turn this day into an XXL intense study day and I thought why not turn this into a challenge. So in this video I will be studying for eight hours which is probably the biggest amount of studying I've ever done but I'm gonna do it. A little disclaimer because I won't be studying for eight hours straight. I will take study breaks after every hour for about five to ten minutes and that is included in the eight hours of studying. So I won't completely fry my brain but I will still probably regret doing this challenge. I will give you updates between the study sessions on how this challenge is going and then at the end I will share my final thoughts. It's almost noon right now and I want to start this challenge at noon. I am going to use the remaining minutes to quickly make a planning for the day and I'm also going to show you my desk setup for the first few hours of this day. This is my plan for today. It's very simple. I will be studying insolvency law all day and then in the evening I have my workout and then I'm gonna chill. It's a very intense schedule but I'm probably gonna switch my study places a couple of times so that will make it a little bit more bearable. As you can see I have not planned the rest of this week yet but that's because I didn't really have the time this morning so I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then with my remaining minutes I'm gonna show you my desk setup for today. I have my water, I have my planning, I have my notes, my earbuds, and my phone. I usually don't study with my phone but I have some recordings on here that I'm gonna listen to and then I'm gonna complete my notes. It's exactly noon and I'm gonna start with my study session. I never got it what you have to go against this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. There's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her uh, She got the glitter and the fame and I it's currently 1 p.m. which means that I've been studying for an hour now. The study session is going really great so I'm happy with that and I'm going to take a short break now and then continue my study session. Beauty in the gray, the cold, gloomy day. The gold. And there's no way I can beat it cause I got no chance, no I thought it would be a good idea to make a cup of coffee and talk you through my study session. So I'm listening to these recordings that I've made during class and usually these type of recordings, you know, listening back to them takes so much energy and so much time but right now I feel like it's going really fast. So that's great. I have a lot to listen back to so it's probably good that I'm making myself a cup of coffee right now. Also, I don't know if any one of you has experienced this before but my coffee machine is leaking. There is this water Water coming from under yeah you can see it there's water coming from under here all the time I don't know what causes it I don't know how to fix it but I don't want my coffee machine to die because I really like this coffee and I don't want another coffee machine <laughs> I have my coffee now so now there's really no excuse anymore to not study so Let's get back to it. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrows. It's 2 p.m. and it's time for a study update. I finished listening to one of the lectures that I recorded and I'm so happy because during that lecture I was sitting in front of a girl who was, I think she had the flu or something and she was like a little bit snotty the whole time and you could hear it on the recording. <laughs> so that, that was a little bit weird but I'm happy that I finished this recording and I will move on to the next one in a couple of minutes but I'm first gonna enjoy my break a bit. <laughs> responding to your comments under my latest video. I posted it yesterday but you guys have commented so many nice things under this video that I'm just simply flying since yesterday and I wanted to take some time and respond to them.
It's 3 p.m. already, so I'm gonna give you a little update. Time is going so fast today. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually enjoying myself. It's not too bad, so... Maybe in a few hours I will say otherwise, but right now it's going pretty well. I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a little snack and then continue. No sleep, no things run it is time to get started with round four. Let's go. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete. I should call you, see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that I'm now halfway through with the challenge and I'm really starting to notice it now My concentration is not at peak level anymore And it's also getting very dark outside I don't know if you can tell but it's very dark at my desk And it's also very dark outside So I might change my study space to have a little bit of a clear head I really want to take a longer break right now Because I've been studying for four hours with only very small breaks And I kind of want to go outside and clear my head a little bit But I can't because if I take a longer break right now then I won't be able to complete this challenge and I really want to complete this challenge and I want to go to bed in time um, so I have to keep holding on to my study schedule that I made this morning I really want to be in bed by 10 p.m. tonight and that's because one of my goals for this year is to learn how to wake up earlier uh, I've talked about this more in depth in my previous video but one of my sub goals is to make sure that I don't procrastinate going to bed any longer so I really want to be finished by 10 so I can go to bed immediately and then I won't have any excuses to not go to bed in time and then the chances of me waking up at a respectable time tomorrow are bigger because tomorrow I woke up way too late I woke up at 9.30 but then I grabbed my iPad I started reading and then before I knew it it was 11 a.m. already and then I got ready and then I started this challenge and that's why I'm on this tight study schedule because I've been procrastinating all morning so my motto for the rest of this afternoon is suffer now enjoy later I want to say a few more things about my bedtime procrastination and how I intend to tackle it because someone has been asking me under my latest video and what I'm going to do is set an alarm for when I want to go to bed so I will be reminded that I have to go to bed and I try to not plan anything too serious in the evening and I try to not procrastinate on my um, work or my studies during the day so in the evening I will be done and then I don't have any excuse to stay up longer because I often think okay I haven't been productive enough so I have to study a little bit more or oh I have studied so much today I need to take a break I need to watch some Netflix it's so easy to procrastinate going to bed and it's such a problem for me because even when I'm in bed I take my iPad and then I start reading or I start playing like a game it's because I enjoy life too much I don't want the day to be over ever <laughs> But yeah, I'm really trying to change that this year. So hopefully today is the day that I will be able to go to bed in a reasonable time and then I can wake up tomorrow early. My hair is still wet from showering this morning. It is so dark out, like look at this. Does this not instantly make you sad? <laughs> because I can't handle this kind of darkness. Study update, I just finished another lecture. These are all of my notes from the literature, case law and lecture notes. It was a lot. I still have 20 minutes left before I can take a break. So I'm gonna start another lecture, let's go. I have to say that studying on the couch is so easy because you're just laying and chilling. It's almost like a chilling session, but I have to be careful to not be too distracted by the whole chill vibe that's here because otherwise I'll get tired and I still have like three more hours to go. <laughs> oh, I never knew love would come and find me, find me one day. It is dark outside now. That's sad, I haven't even been outside today. I just finished my fifth 
hour of studying for today and I can hear my boyfriend who is heating up some leftover takeout from yesterday. I'm gonna take a quick five minute break to go to the bathroom and get a plate of food and then I'm gonna study behind my laptop which is sad but I am going to the gym tonight and I'm really looking forward to that and don't want to skip my first gym session of 2023. It looks lovely. We had some leftover Chinese food from yesterday. I don't know how you do it, but you make it look very good. Like, I'm actually excited for this dinner. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so this is what's for dinner tonight. We have a plate of baomi. This is mine, this is his. And then we have vegetables to go with it. And I recently discovered crispy chili oil. And I'm gonna add a little bit over the vegetables because this is just my latest obsession. I love how this tastes. And I don't mind the spiciness, I just, I thrive on spicy food. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Hopefully the combination tastes well. I have to say that I'm so pleasantly surprised with how this challenge is going. I thought initially that I wouldn't be able to complete this challenge, but now that I have studied for five hours and the end is near, I feel like I'm gonna nail this challenge. And I'm also really surprised at how well my study session is going because I remember being in the lecture that I'm currently listening to and not understanding a single thing that was being said. And now now I'm at home and taking my time to just pause every sentence or so and just try to let it sink in what's happening during the class and what is being said and now I notice that I actually understand the study material and that is just the best feeling ever because if you have followed me on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube for a while now you'll know that I'm taking this course in solvency law and, and that it hasn't been great and that I have struggled a lot with feeling insecure because I don't understand the material and and it always seems like I'm the only one, but then I talk with my classmates and then they tell you the same, that they also tell you I don't understand anything and this course is so hard and then you don't feel as alone. But sometimes it's hard to stay motivated when you don't understand anything. And I think I'm gonna make a separate video on how to study when you don't understand anything and when you just want to give up. But for right now, I'm just happy with how this is going and then I'm finally, finally getting a grip on the situation. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my dinner and at the same time study a little bit more you got me off guard and you took me back took me by surprise 7.08 p.m. and I'm this close to the finish line. I'm so happy, so proud and I only have one more hour to go. I am going to take a little break to plan my workout. In my previous video I already said that one of my goals for the new year is to have somewhat of a structure during my workouts. So I already go to the gym pretty often but there is a lack of structure and I'm bothered by it so I wanted to change that and today is abs and cardio day. So what I'm gonna use my break for is making a workout plan. So so I can be extra motivated to go to the gym and so that I have a clue of what to do when I'm in the gym. <laughs> So let me explain my workout plan for you. I am in no way an expert, so this is just something that I do based on what I know and what I found, but it's not any advice or something. What I'm gonna do is go on the treadmill for 10 minutes with some incline to warm up, and then I'm gonna do a mini circuit with 30 seconds jumping jacks, push-ups, and high knees and rest, and then I'm gonna repeat that three times. Then I'm gonna do a workout for my abs. I'm just gonna follow along a YouTube video because those are the easiest to do and in 10 minutes you have your abs burning, which is always great. And then as a cooling down, I'm gonna do 10 minutes of indoor cycling. And then when I'm finished, I will have done about 45 minutes of a workout, which is great.
This challenge is officially over. I'm so happy. <laughs> like the last 20 minutes, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm gonna continue because I just want this to be over. I still have like 20 minutes left of recordings to listen back to, but I just don't care anymore. I am done with this challenge and I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off to celebrate. Let's do a little bit of reflecting. So today went by so fast. I can hardly believe it's already 8 p.m. already, but I got so much studying done, which is great of course and you know it wasn't even that bad my study sessions were over really quickly and my breaks were also very short i have to say that this challenge wasn't half bad but i don't think i will repeat this tomorrow but it's just nice to know that i am able to study this much because honestly i don't think i've ever studied this much before in a day and it was tough but i still managed to do it so that is really nice to know about yourself and i got a bunch of studying done and that's great because i was behind on my schedule and now i can enjoy the rest of my evening It is now two days after I completed the challenge and I just wanted to add that I wouldn't recommend studying for eight hours in a day if you don't have to. Personally, I stick to a maximum of six hours in a day because then you can still have a life outside of studying. During a challenge, I noticed that my day was over so fast and I mean, I ate my dinner behind my laptop, I ate my lunch behind my desk. It was kind of like a sad day. I didn't go outside until the evening. So I wouldn't really recommend studying for eight hours hours in a day unless you really have to simply because it's important to have a life outside of studying and to still enjoy life normally I don't study for more than six hours in a day and that's also what I would recommend to you guys because it's okay to study for more than eight hours in a day occasionally but on the long term it will lead to bad habits it will lead to feeling exhausted to feeling unhappy and you know burning out in the long term so that's important to keep in mind and it's also what I want you to take away from this video Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye! <music>